All right, so I'd like to welcome everybody to my page, Mastermind here, and I'm starting this new series out, and it's about Pokemon, and some of my favorite Pokemon I'm going to start out with, basically how to play them that I think would work out kind of nice, and it's just some really interesting sets that you might actually want to try and consider, actually. So, the second Pokemon we're looking at now is Absol. <coughs> Absol, I think, is just really beautiful Pokemon in general, and it's a pure dark type, so... We're coming down here, and uh, we're going to be looking at its stats here. we got a really high attack. Okay, defense and special defense, not the best. <coughs> Decent special attack, but the attack's really where we're going to focus. HP's okay, and the speed's pretty good. we can work with the speed. So coming on down here, we have... Uh, we're going to be looking at its uh, typing up. And it's pure dark, like I said, so it's weak to fighting, bug, and fairy has resistances to ghost and dark and it's immune to psychic and all the rest are just normal so not a too bad typing dark can be kind of an issue because fairy's kind of popular right now but <coughs> i think we can work with it so let's just hop into pokemon showdown real quick and let's look at this and see what's going on all right so this is probably one of my favorite sets right here and basically it's absol and we got scope lens that it's going to be holding so it raises critical hit ratio by one stage and then super luck also increases it by one stage so you got about a 60 65 percent chance that you're going to critical hit every time you strike somebody so it's pretty common that you get critical hits and then what we're going to be looking at is getting a swords dance off you have 271 health at level 100 and while that's not super impressive you can at least probably tank one hit as long as it's not super effective Make sure that you switch in on a Pokemon that you know won't be able to hit you super effective. Get a sword stance off, raise your attack by two, and we have Max into the uh, <coughs> attack here. And basically it's going to be 359 attack, and then that sword stance is going to raise it by two stages. So you're going to be doing an incredible amount of damage to him. And then on top of that, we're going to be using Night Slash, so you got Stab, and it has a high critical hit ratio. So with Night Slash being a high crit, Super Luck increasing your crit, and also Scope Lens increasing it, you're going to crit every single time with Night Slash. There's not one time you will not crit with Night Slash, you'll hit it every single time. We're going to go down here to Slash, and Slash is another high critical hit, and basically it's a normal typing, so... You can hit quite a few Pokemon for neutral damage, 70 base power, and it's going to crit every single time because it has high critical hit ratio with all the other things going on with it as well. <laughs> Psycho Cut kind of takes care of your fighting weakness, and as well as it being 70 base power as well, and having a high critical hit ratio. So we're going through it again, and we have three things that are lining up here to be all critical hit ratio increasers, and you're going to crit every time with all three of your attacking moves. With Night Slash being your best move due to the fact that it'll have Stab as well. So you'll be doing close to 100 base power, and then on top of that you're doing crit. So, doing quite a bit of damage with that. Now here's another set that it could work out, and it could be kind of interesting. Basically, it's, it's the same kind of setup here. You're going to just go with a jolly nature, max out that speed, try and get the out speeds on a lot of Pokemon, because you're going to try and hit first. And instead, <coughs> you're not going to worry about setting up. You're just going to go out straight out the 359 attack, which is already really good. And even if you didn't think that you'd need the out speeds, you could actually put it into there, get, out, get the, your attack with Adamant all the way up to 394. But I prefer having a little bit more speed so that way you can at least outspeed a couple more Pokemon. So we're going to just basically have the same setup here. you got Psycho Cut, Slash, and Night Slash again. But instead of having Swords Dance, we're going to have Shadow Claw, which is a ghost move. It has 70 base power as well, and it has a high critical hit ratio. So all four of your moves will be able to crit every single time, and you won't have to worry about setting up a Swords Dance because you'll be doing pretty decent damage. And you got really good coverage overall anyways. Now hopping over here to Absol Mega, this is kind of an interesting thing that I thought might be kind of fun just to kind of try out because whenever you get Mega Absol going, uh, the special attack really goes up and the attack doesn't go up as much. So I kind of thought it might be kind of interesting to try a special attacking Mega Absol because some people might not be expecting Absol to be a special attacker. And with that 115 special attack, it can do some pretty good damage. So basically what I thought of is getting a calm mind set up. You get your special attack and special defense by one raised. Uh, special defense isn't as impressive, but basically, basically you're using the calm mind just to boost up your special attack a little bit. And then you're going to come out with Shadow Ball. Basically uh, you can lower their special defense by one. That's probably the first move you want to open up with every time. Because it'll lower their special defense by one. And then your calm mind raised your special attack by one. So it's basically like a sword stance once they're, uh, if you can get their special defense to go down. 
And then uh, we have Thunderbolt here, and basically it's a 90 base power, 100% accuracy. It's an electric move, so you got pretty good coverage there. And then you have your Dark Pulse, which is you're going to be your stab, 80 base power, with a 20% chance to flinch. And then top it all off, you have Magic Bounce, which is really good because you will not be hit by anything, like you won't be burnt, you won't be toxic, nothing. Magic Bounce won't let that happen. So you have a little pretty surprising amount of tankiness because they won't be able to stall you out. And then here's the last set that I thought might be kind of cool. And basically, it kind of works the same way. You got Scope Lens again with Super Luck. And then you're going to come over here, but you're going to get Home Claws. And instead, it's going to just ra raise your accuracy by one and your accuracy by one. And the reason for accuracy going up by one is because of Stone Edge here. Stone Edge has a high crit ratio, and it has 100 base power, and it's a rock move, so you can actually have some pretty interesting coverage there. And since it has a high crit ratio, you're going to crit every single time with a 100 base power move, which is going to be some incredible damage. And basically, since it only has 80% accuracy, Home Claws can allow you to boost that accuracy up, and you're actually going to be able to hit a lot more often than what you would be able to normally. So coming over here, we're looking at... Uh, going at the speed nature again, and then your attack, just maxing them both out. So, that's kind of what I was thinking about, and you got Psycho Cut, Night Slash for coverage, and you got Night Slash for your stat, and Psycho Cut to take care of the fighting weakness that you'll have. So overall, I think it's a this is a pretty decent setup that I actually might want to try out. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.